Bomb! Oh, come on, we have a video due this week, where are you? You were supposed to bring the game this time! Do you really want to play Other M that badly because I will? No, no, no. I got it. Hand it over! Conker's bad fur day? What, did you go on a binge or something? I don't drink, dimwit. But then why are you- uh, Oh no, you didn't eat that old fermented applesauce, did you? I found some more. Of course you did. <laughs> I love this game. You're slap happy already, aren't you? This game just makes me feel like I'm back in high school, staying up way too late with friends laughing so hard at the game we'd be in physical pain. Conker's Bad Fur Day tends to bring out the worst in people. Alright, if you don't already know what this game is, it's basically Banjo-Kazooie, but with copious amounts of crude British toilet humor and classic movie references. And let's not forget that this was made by the same people at Rare, confirming that none of them are above piss crap and testicle jokes. More importantly, the mere concept of an M-rated video game in that day and age, much less a Nintendo game. Dude, you can jump on this Sunflower's boot. Where the climate for censorship and mature themes- Opera singing poop monster! This used to be an innocent franchise! Look what they've done to it! So the gameplay in Conkers isn't too different from Banjo-Kazooie. You're in a 3D action platformer progressing through various themed worlds, collecting money instead of jiggies in order to progress into new levels. Playing as a lovable anthropomorphic woodland critter. I mean, sure, but what does that matter? It represents the forest creature community, you heartless speciesist. So what sets the gameplay apart from the crowd is that you're feeding a mouse till he explodes and pissing on flaming gremlins and shooting zombie teddy bears and dodging a red net pitchfork until he gives into his depression and hangs himself and- No, no! No, it's not what you're doing. That totally is. It's also the fourth wall breaking implementation of the B button, where you'll encounter various platforms and interact with them by pressing B, allowing Conker to obtain whatever thing would be most beneficially context sensitive at that moment. But it's always extra stupid. Like when you're getting attacked by a savage dinosaur in an arena and Conker pulls out a yo-yo to hypnotize the thing. It's never what you expect. Based on the level, sometimes you're running, jumping, and smacking things with a giant frying pan, while other times you're in a third-person shooter, swimming, or surfing, and even flying, and it adds a lot of variety to the game. Although this tends to leave the difficulty all over the place. Yeah, some segments are really hard, like when you gotta trick this raging bull to obliterate a bunch of cows after you gave them all diarrhea, and this Matrix scene where you're like jumping in slow-mo trying to shoot these evil weasel bankers. Anyway, when you take damage, you'll need to find and eat some floating anti-gravity chocolate, or else you'll die. And, and meet the Grim Reaper, who just might be my favorite character in the whole game, Greg. He's a small, squeaky-voiced, cat-hating Grim Reaper, reluctantly resurrecting you in exchange for squirrel's tails. But even with ways to heal and return from death, this game can still be quite challenging. I think they cranked it up a bit to try and match their target age range and defy the stigma of looking like yet another kid's 3D platformer. Kids should not play this game. Unless they're into violence and poop jokes, which all are, am I right? Ugh. <laughs> you can see this caveman's butt hanging out. You're not gonna be able to get over this game's humor for one section, are you? Big bald British boiler! <sighs> The game looks great. It's a late N64 title making the most of the hardware with great colors, models, and fluid animations. Count Batula. Fine, here's your story section. Yay! So Conker's totally wasted after a night out of drinking and he's just trying to make his way back home where he's constantly stopped by all sorts of crazy characters who need his help in exchange for money or opening the path forward. Now this might sound like the dumbest thing you've ever heard, but the main villain is a panther king who wants to capture Conker and use him as a table leg so he will stop dropping his milk, since his weasel assistant professor came to this conclusion after extensively studying the three-legged table. So he helps some bees and living farm equipment, kill a terminator hay bale, screw over an angry cog and some prissy catfish, give some cows diarrhea, and stuff an opera singing sentient poop monster full of toilet paper. I'm just gonna let him handle this. He sacrifice a cute baby dinosaur in a bloody ritual, bust an underground caveman nightclub, toss an angry mob into a metal grinder for your vampire ancestor, fight in a D-Day beach invasion against an army of Franken-Teddies, rob a bank Matrix style before getting ambushed by the Weasel Mafia. So the Panther King has Conker's girlfriend, Barry, executed right before he has a Xenomorph burst out of his chest, which nearly kills Conker when the game freezes. 
Conker makes a deal with the game programmer to help him kill the alien and is crowned the new king, but realizes after it's too late that he forgot to ask the programmer to also revive Barry, instead leaving him surrounded by the people he hates and at the same time, completely alone. Yeah, so you remember how Kingdom Hearts also throws you around a bunch of irrelevant worlds with no impact on the plot whatsoever until the very end? This is the single greatest story ever told. Bomb, get a hold of yourself. This game makes me happy. It's dumb. It's the best kind of dumb. Me, 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 me. I am the swell gamer bomb who can't miss the chance to sing this song. The music's just okay, so don't make this a Broadway. Hamster finds it wise to criticize. You seem to forget that this game has full N64 voice tracks, no corners cut. If you're criticizing hamster, just persist, I'll take this game and ram it up your butt! My butt? Your butt! My butt? That's right, your butt! Ugh. Your butt! Ugh. Your butt! Public service announcement. The Great Mighty Pooh's song is titled Sloprano. Now you know. This game was a financial disaster. What with the N64 being near the end of its lifespan alongside a peculiar ad campaign. These are real promotional Conker's Bad Fur Day condoms. Part of me needs to know if anyone out there actually used one of them. No, you don't. I need to know. 10 out of 10. Boom. Ugh, the positive gamer in me gives Conker's Bad Fur Day an inebriated six out of 10. Nine out of 10. It's funny, but I like it. It's dumb and awful and offensive, and it's the greatest game ever made. So it gets the highest score number ever made with a nine out of 10. Look at all those coins. The critical gamer in me gives Conker's Bad Fur Day an average five out of 10. Yeah, the game's hysterical, but the gameplay itself kind of drags down the experience, keeping me from wanting to return to it. Unless you hunt down the 2005 remake, Conquer Live and Reloaded, which spruces up the graphics and gameplay in a big way, at the cost of some unnecessary censorship. And would you look at that? Now we don't have to review that game at all! No! <laughs> You'll get over it. Ugh. But what do you think? Tell us how your positive and critical sides rate Conker's Bad Fur Day in the comments below. But if you're just playing with yourself... Bomb, I didn't even... Goodbye! Oh wait, hold on, I wasn't even done! <sighs> I feel a lot better. Uh, wait a minute. Did we already do the episode? Weird. Well, anyway, special thanks this week go to Erica from Patreon for nominating this episode, and to Zach for lending me his copy of Conker's Bad Fur Day. And thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more, and use the links in the description to nominate future episodes. And thank you to our Patreon members Atomic Thomas, Cameron, Arrow, Rowan, Erica, Shiam, Sid, and Squad Fam. Boop!